Anakin, Anakin, relax, man. You are the most important hot toy in my collection. There's no better hot toy than you, okay? So just relax. Take that look out of your eyes. Jeez. Let's just see if they announce any new hot... Short Trooper. Two Short Troopers. What is going on to another video? This is Six Scale Economist. In today's video, we are taking a look at the figure that broke the internet once again, the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. I know obviously they announced the Grunt as well. We're going to talk about that one in a separate video. In today's video, we are focusing on the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. As always, first we're going to talk about this figure from a collector perspective, and then we're going to talk about it from an investor perspective. And most importantly, I'm going to give my thoughts on how this is going to affect the Shore Trooper the old short trooper in the secondary market so make sure to stick around for that first let's jump right into it from a collector perspective look it's the short trooper we already know it there's not that much to say about this you guys already know this figure is incredible from a collector's perspective um very unique trooper um got a total of like i don't know like two minutes of screen time across like one movie and one tv show yet has three hot toys i absolutely love it um the big difference of this one obviously is going to be the paint difference on the armor um and uh the pauldron i guess you could call it or type cape type that comes with him obviously this is going to be the squad leader which is different from the first issue which we are going to talk about in this video um which was the captain which is also different from the other one they gave us which is the grunt um Look, it's a figure that's going to pop on your shelf. It's unique. It's not one that really looks that much like any other characters. It it almost it looks a lot like a transport trooper, just a lot better in my opinion. It's going to pop off your shelf more. Um, this is nothing new for a lot of people that have already have had the short trooper. Um, obviously, very exciting. He doesn't come with a whole lot. He, I feel like he doesn't need to come with a whole lot. He's coming with the display base. It comes with that thing that comes covers over the display base, which I never find myself using anyways. Um, the gun, which is sick, really really sick gun. Um, a couple of different hands, but I mean, what you're paying for is basically a short trooper. You don't need an, you don't need an extra head sculpt. You don't need anything. And how is this one different from the first release? Um, so like I said, this one is going to be the captain and the, the first release was the, um, sorry, the first release was the captain. This one is the squad leader. Um, so as you can see, like the paint is going to be different on the, on the chest plate. Look, you can see right here, he has like more, only like a hit of blue on the chest plate compared to this one, which has like full blue. Um, the cape obviously is different, so this one doesn't have like a pauldron type cape thing, whereas this one does. Um, let's go here to the last one. Um, and then this one, so this one, the, the old one is going to have a like pouch on his waist. You can actually see the old one right here in this picture. So the pouch actually is sick. I kind of wish this one came with a pouch, um, but it is what it is. Uh, it looks like this one's actually going to have some type of strap that goes around the gun, which the first one didn't have, which isn't something that I think is important, incredible, but needless to say, it doesn't matter. This is an incredible release. Um, what a great reissue by, by essentially reissue by, by Hot Toys. Obviously, this one is going to be from Rogue One and the Grunt, which we will talk about in a separate video, is going to be from Mandalorian. Most importantly, the reason why I know a lot of you guys may be tuning into this video talk about it from an investment perspective you guys already know from a collector perspective it's great from an investment perspective super interesting i saw a lot of people i would say most people are like as soon as this guy came out they were like oh my gosh sell your short troopers like this is it like all the short troop, all, everyone that just bought a short trooper you know for six hundred dollars this is gonna be like really upset and everything and to be fair there is some merit to that argument but in my opinion i actually don't think that this release is going to hurt the short trooper too much and there's a couple of reasons I'm going to give you guys my logic and my reasoning for why I think that way, not because I'm just like randomly saying it. Um, first off, look at historical analysis. I brought up some examples that we can take a look at. The Stormtrooper from Rogue One is basically the same exact figure, if not worse, because it comes with less accessories, than the Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper. The big glaring difference is the eyelids, right? The eyelids are like more green on the Rogue, on the on the Return of the Jedi Trooper, whereas on the Rogue One Trooper, they're still green, but really, when you have it in person, it really kind of just looks black. Other than that, there's basically no difference. This guy, I, I had this guy. This guy comes with nothing, right? He comes with a base, a gun, and a couple of hands. Um, when this, so basically, this is essentially like a reissue. What did this do when this came out to the price of the of the Rogue One Stormtrooper? Nothing. It did nothing to this figure. This figure sells for four hundred and fifty dollars in the secondary market on eBay, um, probably like four hundred dollars on Facebook. 
And I feel like that's a very comparable thing. Probably the, one of the best comparisons, probably the best comparison we can get for this short trooper release. Um, similar ish story with, with Anakin, but really it's not that it's not that similar. It's probably the best other comparable analysis I could get though. Um was Dark Side coming out after Light Side. Like Dark Side coming out did not hurt the price of Light Side at all. Like they're both, you know, very high figures in the secondary market. Whereas they're not as comparable, but you guys can kind of get the point that I'm I'm trying to show here is unless it is a direct reissue, like Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader was like $475 in the secondary market It is when it peaked up until they re announced the re-release of the 40th anniversary version of Darth Vader, which was the same exact figure. And then that Darth Vader, the first issue of Darth Vader, went from like $475 to like $350 um, in the secondary market. And that was because that is a direct reissue. Other than the box, every single thing about that figure is the same. This one, no. The figures just they're just different figures and also for like completionists like one's a squad leader one's a captain and now that we have the grunt too i feel like a lot of people are going to want to try and complete those so what do i see happening in this scenario again at the end of the day secondary market price always the fundamental thing it always comes down to is supply and demand are you going to have people who are going to sell this shore trooper take their profits and go you know you could sell this shore trooper and you could buy one of each of these new ones and you know even push potentially buying three of uh of the new ones for the price of the old one will you have some people doing that absolutely that's going to increase supply on what is however an already very low supplied figure now is that supply going to be met with any new demand i think it will there are going to be people who are crazy you know Maybe not me because I I can't I can't buy a figure for six hundred dollars secondary market regardless. But there are going to be people out there who are going to get the squad leader, who are going to get the grunt, and who are going to go try and pick up the old shore trooper to complete the trio uh, to have on their display shelf. That is a new demand that would not have been there before the shore trooper. On top of all the rest of just increased hype for people just you know seeing these shore troopers get released and want to get a new storm trooper. So I think this supply. That is going to be met that is going to be given with people selling the short troopers is going to be met by an increased demand so i think net i think the short trooper the old short trooper is probably going to stay at where it is i mean it's shown its resilience its lack of supply is just incredible like it just has a lack of supply that that just causes that even when star wars figures and hot toys in general go down in price he just stays at like 550 is the minimum that he gets to i really haven't seen him break through 550 most of the time he's more like a 650 700 sometimes 750 in the secondary market so if you have a short trooper i would not panic i don't think that this is going to be that bad for your old short trooper if you want to take some profits though and basically get yourself three new short troopers for the price of your current short trooper you can also do that and i think that's a very fair play um but regardless this is an incredible release right here um, great reissue at $230. I do think it's kind of steep and I see what hot toys is doing here I mean look at this release $205 and you're gonna get like um, I guess if you only got this if you got like the pre-order bonus, but you get like this extra uh, Like background thing and none of that's basically the same figure take away the cape on the new one add the pouch on this guy uh, same gun and and same base other than that's basically the same figure and they're charging $25 more and I'd say they're not really adding that much to it actually net they're probably taking away stuff from it um, Interesting move by hot toys. I don't think anybody is going to complain though um, Now this figure specifically talking about it from uh, in the secondary market. How do I think this figure is going to perform? Lightning doesn't strike twice in one place I don't think that this is one now that you need to go buy, you know Go I'm gonna go buy five shore troopers because once this guy sells out he's gonna be a $600 figure again and then I'm going to sell all of those short troopers and make all this money. I don't think that this, that's something that's going to happen with this short trooper. For one, now we have three short troopers that are going to be in uh, the secondary market once they all sell out. Two, if you think that Hot Toys is going to produce the same amount of short troopers for these, this and the grunt that they did for this one, I think you are gravely mistaken. Hot Toys is not stupid. They very much are aware of what goes on in their secondary market. That's why we have this re-release right now. They did not need to give us this Rogue One one. They could have easily just given us the, the Mandalorian one and that could have been it. But they know what this guy is going for in the secondary market. And there's no way that they're going to produce that 
little amount uh, this time around. Also, you're just gonna have way more people pre-ordering. The amount of people who DM me on Instagram telling me that they're, they already pre-ordered two or three of these short troopers on day one just goes to show how much of this figure is going to be produced. So, are you going to lose money on this figure? Absolutely not. This figure will never sniff retail uh, once it sells out. Is this figure going to be a $600 figure again in the secondary market? I also don't think that's going to happen. Um, I imagine that this is probably something, you know, we're very far down the line. It's probably something where it floats maybe in like the 350-ish range and uh, it's gonna have a lot of supply. It's tough to tell. Um, but it's going to be an excellent release and it's excellent from an investor perspective and excellent from a collector perspective uh so you should absolutely be pre-ordering this one if you have not already but as always these are just my thoughts make sure to let me know in the comment section down below are you guys stoked for this release are you guys stoked for the grunt make sure to stay tuned the grunt video will be dropping probably the day after tomorrow or tomorrow uh tbd but as always this is 60 economist buy the dip sell the rip this is the way we will see you in the next video Thank you.